Hey you guys, welcome back again to Rebuild Reality. And today we're going to be talking about instant manifestation. And at, speaking of instant manifestation, basically I did a video. I know I haven't done really a lot of videos this week, but it's because and some of you may go through this as well, you know, have experienced this is when you kind of get to these places where you just kind of things expand and you kind of like level up and you kind of, I just like let it unfold. I'm like, okay, I need to kind of stand back for a minute, you know, and just let this thing do its stuff. And, uh, cause you start, you, you're getting a new viewpoint on, on reality, you know, so you're kind of letting it all flow in. But I actually did a video the other day that I hadn't posted because I realized after I'd done it that I'm like, actually, I can say that better. I want to say that a little differently, you know, to be more clear on it. But in that video, there are orbs everywhere. And I don't think I've ever had orbs, at least not that I've seen in my videos. But it's like, as soon as I talk about, like in my last video that I did post about ETs, basically instant manifestation. They're like, yeah, we're here, just so you know. They were shooting out of my ears, coming out of my forehead, you know, shooting up through the ceilings, coming through the glass, going through the electrical, you know, lights and, and everything. It's like, okay, I know there's, there's like a lot of people who, who like ETs or are into that. I'm, it's just not something I like, especially invite into my life just because, um, I don't know. It's, it's like there, you know, I mean, what does that mean? Anything that isn't of, of the earth, if it isn't what we presume is from here and stuff. And it's that whole kind of separation thing, really. So, which is what this whole thing is about. So when we are creating something, we see it in our imagination, right? We've learned, oh, if I see it in my imagination, that's part of the process. You, you don't have to. Some people have a hard time imagining and you don't have to. You just have to just know, you know, you just have to really know it um, most of all. But because people will make a distinction between their 5D, you know, their, sorry, their three, their five 3D senses of this world and the world of the imagination that they're different, that that's kind of not the real world and this world is, well, that's where things are kind of turned around because in reality, it's all actually one thing because this world is created out of imagination to begin with. So that's where it, it comes from. It's, it's, so it's not really something that's separate. So we're having a new viewpoint, a new understanding when we kind of get these things and seeing that when we see it in our imagination, that's as real as it gets. That is as real as it gets. That's whenever, that's where everything starts. That's the world of our thoughts, of our imagination. That's the world of creation. That is the true world. So I know we go through like a lot of people go through a lot of processes, processes and time and techniques and all this stuff because they think they're trying to convince something or or do something right in order to get it, in order to somehow bring it from there, you know, from what I can see in my head to here or my five, you know, my five senses that are 3D senses can interact with it then. But it's not that it's not coming. It's not that it's not there. It's not that it's not created already. That's not the issue. You think about it, done deal. That's it. It's already there. The problem is, is that people stop it without realizing what they're doing. So because they think that they have to go through all these processes and, and affirmations and techniques and and sure if you feel like doing it that it's it's just something that makes you feel good to do then then there's nothing wrong with that that's fine to do it and certainly the 3d mind loves doing it because it's sure that it's involved it's sure that if i do it then i'm making it happen i'm the one making it happen but of course the 3d persona here is just a manifestation itself. So it's not making anything happen. It's 
just that's why we allow things to happen that's why we accept that things have happened as opposed to oh i've got to do all these things do all this stuff to make it happen um because that's not really a part of it you know that's just a nice feeling or something but it's not doing anything except for hopefully just making you feel good and maybe being like a babysitter for for the 3d mind but um in reality every manifestation is instant happens right now there is no time lag there is no delay it's all right there. So it's just the illusion because where are we, right? We're in the illusion of separation. So it's kind of, I think, really kind of pulling ourselves out of that, you know, that we're just always in that assumption that when we think of something that we want, we have a desire, we're like, I'm separate from it. So it's like right off the bat, we kind of get off on the wrong foot. It's like, no, you're not separate from it. You know, if you're thinking about it, then you're probably envisioning it. And, you know, all of this, it just means that it is there. Because you can't think about something that's not already real, you know. So, you know, I know that people want to experience it here, but they don't realize how it is that they're stopping it. So they're stopping it because they don't see it as real. They don't kind of make that connection. They don't, like pull themselves out of that duality, that illusion of duality and start to begin to see life, to see their life as, no, as, as one thing. It's all one thing. It's just all kind of the same process and stuff. But because, you know, the mind tends to get worried and doesn't understand that, that world, you know, the 3D mind, the egoic mind doesn't understand that world of the imagination. To it, it's like, you know, that's just not real. And so, so many people will spend their time trying to convince their mind that it is real. Well, I don't think there's a lot of people that actually ever really 100% get there. Because, you know, there's going to be that mind where it's just like, beep, 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 you know, in the background, maybe it's subdued and stuff, but that thing, you know, it just... It just kind of continues to pop up. So you just learn to ignore it. You learn to not give value to it. So because otherwise it's constantly saying that you didn't do it right. You didn't do enough. You didn't do it long enough. You didn't do the right thing. You know, it's got all these things and it wants you to go back in and get involved again because it keeps saying it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. And then you're like, ooh, it's not happening. You just hit the cancel button. <laughs> you know, cancel order button. It's like, no, don't, don't hit that button. You know, because it, it's already done. It was already instant. All you got to do is live in that, like they say, you know, live in that state. Live in the the knowing that, yeah, it is here. It It, it is done, you know. Um, you know, stop saying that it's not real yet. People are like, well, it's not here yet. It's not real yet. It hasn't happened yet. I'm looking at my bank account. It's not there yet. You know, um, my SP hasn't gotten in contact with me yet. It's like, well, this is just this 3D world. It's like, it's a total after effect. It's a way later after kind of effect thing. It's almost like a, a second thought because that's why you have to be at that place where you are accepting that it's already yours because all 3d is ever going to do is, is copy you it's just going to mimic where you're at it's going to show you where you're at you want to which is why one reason that the 3d is good because it will always show you if you need to know where you're at so <laughs> so and so it's a good tool uh, to use for that but if we don't accept how powerful we are. Because I think with all of this, it, it, it really kind of comes down to that, you know? And I think that we have to come to a place where we finally accept, you know, that we're not this 3D 
human that is living this life where we're in danger, where we're struggling, where we're trying to get there. You know, we have this point of view of ourselves as, as that person who is trapped in 3D and is trying to escape and trying to figure it out and trying to be good enough and trying to make it happen and trying to understand and try, 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 you know, as opposed to simplifying all of it. It's like, okay. Because, because it is simple. It's not understanding all these processes and techniques and all these different things. It's just like, okay, this is not where you're really from. This is not who you really are. What's really going on here is this is just a, a 3D, you know, 365 degree virtual reality that's going on. We're here to go ahead and create whatever we want. So pulling yourself out of that story of you as a, a vulnerable, um, struggling uh, human identity and be like, no, that's not who I am. I don't have human limitations. I don't have... Um, human frailties those things don't apply to me because that's not me and that would absolutely be true because seeing yourself as that is what really needs to change that you are the person <laughs> i use that term loosely you are the one who is it all so you can do it all so you know, really making this not so complicated because, of course, the 3D mind loves to complicate things. You know, it really likes that. But um, so it will always say it's confusing. This is hard. This is difficult. This is a struggle. I'm seeing everybody out there in the struggle of manifestation, you know, and trying to get it right, trying to deserve it, you know, trying to this or that. And it throws up all of these excuses as to why it's difficult, as to why it's hard. And it's the excuses. It's a feeling of not being worthy. It's a, a feeling of being a human being who is at risk, who maybe there is an option because the human being will always have that duality mindset where it's like, it could happen, but it could also not happen. Well, that's not true. Because that's, there is no opposites. There's just one thing. Everything is one single thing. There's only on. There's only yes. There's never no. It's only the human who comes in and says, oh, no, or maybe it won't happen, or maybe it can't happen, or maybe it didn't. The always doubts, the always questions. But that's just, that's just kind of like that, that, that's just like the 3D program story. But it has nothing to do with the reality of who you are. Because you are absolutely not only able to manifest instantly, you're doing it constantly. It's just that you're constantly hitting the cancel button. <laughs> so it's really a, a matter of not doing that anymore. Stopping all of that, you know. Live your life as is as if it is here now. You're you're already enjoying it because if it's if you can see it there now, it's true. It's already happened. It's already true. So if you live your life from that perspective, instead of going, no, there's still things that could happen in between now and then. Um, you know, because the, the mind wants to micromanage. It wants to control. Um, it thinks it needs to get in there and start driving again when it, when it doesn't because there's no driving, there's no destination. There's no place to go to because it's all right here because it's all just one thing. So everything's right here. We have to accept that it's just the senses that are, they're not telling us the truth. They're messed up. And you can, you can totally look at this in, in psychology and so much science. It's just, it's everywhere out there where, you know, your sight is not telling you the truth. That's really this kind of illusion thing, you know, that's going on. Um, this kind of little flicker book of 
of images that we think are going on, these things we think are happening that aren't, you know, doing that at all. So you got to look at where you're at. Are you the person that believes that they manifest instantly and that that's not a problem? Because that, that would be the truth. That would absolutely be the truth of who you are. Or are you still seeing yourself as the human being in 3D who is still trying who still needs to make it happen, who still needs to get involved, who still needs to take action. Because that's coming from a 3D perspective of, I don't have it, so I have to do something to get it. As opposed to just going in there into your imagination, being like, yeah, that's it. I got it exactly how I want it now. Yep, that's it. That's mine. That's mine. You know, and then after that, it's, you know, it's just a matter of where do you spend most of your time? Do you spend most of your time thinking about, yeah, I've got it. Of course I have it. I've got it. I'm living with it right now. I can see it. Or do you spend most of your time where you're thinking that you need to get it? You're trying to get it. You need to make it happen. You want to make it happen. You're hoping that it happens. Um, maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe I haven't watched enough videos. Maybe I need to, you know, figure something else out here. Maybe I need to do more. Maybe I need to do things longer. What about if I affirm for, you know, the whole weekend, you know, every single moment I'm a awake and then I listen to subliminals the whole time I'm, I'm you know I'm asleep but sure you can do that if you want to but you certainly don't have to but none of those things are making it happen none of those things are involved in whether or not it's going to turn up it's simply just where is your awareness because your consciousness right so as consciousness where are you are you living with what you want or are you the person who's still in the place where I'm still living with the things I, I don't want, want, you know, or am I still talking about them or am I saying, oh yeah, I'm doing it, but then I'm still talking to my friends or my family or whoever about how I still don't have it yet, you know, because a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I'm doing it. I want to do it more than anything in the world. I want to have this thing, but then they can't stop talking about not having this thing or about how they're going to make it happen. It's like, you're not accepting your power, your incredible power that believe it. You've seen it. So you can believe it. And that's, it's that simple. It's, it's just that there's no, du there's no duality. It's all one thing. If you can see it in there, it's already done. So really kind of pulling yourself out of that idea that you're not that person, that you're not that individual who has that power, who can do that. And I think that's really the thing that needs to change is that, yeah, don't consider yourself how you used to look at yourself as a person who, who doesn't have anything, who's just not in control of anything, that you're the victim of everything, that things happen, and you're trying to make, to take control, um, but you're seeing it's hard or difficult or this or that, and it's like, no, it's just a simple thing. You just accept it, that non-duality is, is the truth, that everything is one thing, and it is truly, really, 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 all here right now. So, I hope... Uh, some of that helps you guys. It's just what you're aware of. What do you, where, where are you at? Where are you at? Where do you spend most of your time? That's just where you'll end up. So I hope that that helps you guys out. And uh, thanks you guys for being here with me again on Rebuild Reality. Uh, thanks for everything you guys do. Sending lots of love. And I'm going to see you here next time on Rebuild Reality.